Needle insertion can be very challenging for every beginner acupuncturist and you want to make sure you get everything right. In this video we will go through all the basic acupuncture techniques including how to handle needle, how to insert a needle, how to remove the needle. And we'll also share with you some tips for our painless needle insertion. Let's start with the different sections of an acupuncture needle. Here we have the body of the needle, which is here, which is the part that is inserted inside the body of the patient. At the end of the body, here we have the tip, which is a section that penetrates the skin first. Then we have the handle, which is a section where the fingers hold the needle. Between the body and the handle, we have the root of the needle, which is the most vulnerable part of the needle. Finally, at the end of the handle, here we have the tail of the needle. Generally, we hold the needle between the thumb and the index. Some people use, like to use three fingers this way. Traditionally, some acupuncturists hold the needles at the body directly, but this is rarely used nowadays. Before you insert the needle, you need to make sure you have the correct location of the point. There are basically two ways of doing that. The first is through body landmarks and the second one is through palpation. Um, today we're going to needle on stomach 36. So I'm going to press. And do you feel anything when I press here? It's a bit sore, okay. Then, once you have the location, you can just uh, keep your second hand on the location of the point and you need to make sure the patient is on a comfortable position and that your, all your equipment is available easily. So, I can take the needle here now and... So, are you ready, Samantha? Yeah. Okay, so I need to be very close to the skin when I'm going to insert the needle and the movement has to be very quick and swift, so there is no pain when penetrating the skin. Okay. How do you feel? Yeah, I can feel some soreness there. We're going to see now the pinching technique, which is very useful when the, there is not much flesh at the location of the point and you need to create more flesh to, in order to be able to insert the needle. And a good example will be in town, which is uh, right here in the forehead. And because the skin is very, very thin at this stage, we have to pinch the, the skin this way. And then we have more space to needle with the other hand, so like this. And you can see that now the needle can stay in position on the point. Okay, I'm going to show you the extension technique now. The extension technique is very useful when you are needling an acupuncture point that is located somewhere where the skin is very loose and very soft. So basically the idea is to extend the skin with your um, second hand and then you can insert with the other hand. All right, so I'll show you now how it's, it's done. So with your second hand, you stretch the skin this way and then you insert the needle this way. And then let's do it on the other side as well. So you stretch, so the skin is very stretched in and then needle this way. All right. For some points, you may need to have posture control. Let's give an example. With kidney 1, this point can induce a reflex reaction and this reflex reaction can disturb the needling process. Because we don't want to do that, we'll have to control the position of the patient. We have the um, needle in place here, uh, we're ready to insert it. And I'm using my second hand to control the posture of the patient and then I will insert it this way. For locations such as the upper back or the scalp, you will need to do oblique needling because there is not enough space to do perpendicular needling. Let's take an example. If we want to needle on a bladder 13, 
um, you will have to needle towards the spine. So the insertion will be like this. And you don't want to be too deep, otherwise there is a risk of pneumothorax, so that will be enough. And now I'm going to do GV20. So you see I'm needling in an oblique manner as well. Here we are, so this is the oblique insertion. I will now show you how to use the guide tube. So guide tube are an excellent invention. Um, which help us to have a, a painless insertion and it's very easy especially for beginners so if you don't really feel comfortable about inserting needle you can start with the tube and uh, then see how it feels and get more um, confidence today we're going to, to use it for bladder 40 here so when you use the guide tube um, you need first to you let the little uh, plastic thing here um, in place and you find the point first, once you have the point, you keep it with your second hand, you place the tube, and then now you can remove the plastic um, thing here. We are ready now, I'll just, there are generally two ways of inserting a needle, you can either flick with your finger this way, or press with your thumb, so we're going to press with the thumb. Okay, so you see very quick, um, relatively painless, now the needle is inserted inside the skin and I have time to slowly like um, insert it deeper inside the tissues to make sure I'm in the correct place. Okay, that's good. Do you feel anything? No, let's adjust it a little bit. So we sure we are in the correct place. Yes, okay, that's it, we are here. Before you remove the needle, you need to make sure your equipment is ready. So you have the sharp containers that is very close to the place where you are going to take the needle out. And you want to have some cotton balls ready. The reason why we have cotton balls is because there might be some bleeding happening and we want to make sure we control the bleeding directly uh, after we remove the needles. And um, before I start, I will have to wash my hands again. So even if I did it before Putting the needle, when I remove the needle, I will need to wash my hands again. And um, so now I'm ready. So I remove the needle just gently and swiftly. And I put directly in the sharp container. So this is done. If there is any bleeding going on, I will use this cotton ball to press on the acupuncture point. So after the end of the session, you might want to give to the patient a few after-treatment recommendations to make sure they go home and know what they expect. So Samantha, this is, the treatment is now over and um, I will just let you know that uh, in the point in which there were needles, you might still feel some tightness and some soreness and this is absolutely normal and it will fade away in a few days, so you don't have to worry. Okay. Okay. Um, it's also possible that in the next few hours you will feel a bit dizzy, a bit tired and this is also normal, this happens after acupuncture session and um, you will recover in a, in a few hours. Uh, this is just the way your body is adjusting to a treatment session. Okay? Alright. Alright, so if, do you have any questions before we end? Mm, yeah. No, how no do you questions. Feel, how do you feel now? Do you feel okay? Feel good. Okay, okay. that's good then. Um, I will see you next week then, and uh, have a great day. All right, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Johan Berling, clinician, lecturer and researcher. This video was produced by Sydney Institute of Traditional Chinese Medicine. Please check our tutorials and more information on the school in the description below. You can join our community and also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Good practice and take care.